Hi everyone, I'm Nick Olivo, and today we'll see how to set up Taroka-based random encounter effects for your Curse of Strahd Roll20 games. This allows you to draw a card from the Taroka deck, and then have that card spice up a given encounter. For example, over here we see that the Mists inflict a negative 2 to attack rolls against creatures that are more than 5 feet away from you. Note that we will be using mods to do this, so a pro account is required to do what I'm about to show you. Before we dive in, I'd just like to thank Roll20 for sponsoring this video. So, first and foremost, credit where credit is due, this idea comes from Mike Shea, author of the Return of the Lazy Dungeon Master and a bunch of other awesome books. He wrote this blog post saying that the Taroka deck is really cool, but it's really only used during Madame Ava's reading. So he came up with magical effects for each Taroka card, and the idea is that during any encounter, Strahd can draw a card from the deck, and that card applies some new effect to the combat. And as he says in the post, sometimes the effects are good, sometimes they're bad, sometimes they're just plain weird. And I really love this idea, and since I've just started running a Curse of Strahd campaign, I decided to set it up in Roll20. And the way that we're going to achieve this is we're going to create a rollable table in Roll20 that contains all of the text for each of those card effects, and if you have access to the Taroka deck, the image of the card as well. And then once that table is created, we're going to set up this script card macro that will allow us to display the card and its effect in the Roll20 chat. So the first thing we need to do is install a couple of mods into our Roll20 game. The first mod we're going to use is called Table Export. This comes to us from the arcane scriptomancer himself, the Aaron, and Table Export will allow us to load all the text for the different card effects into our game. The other mod that we're going to use is Script Cards, which comes to us from the amazing Kurt Jagers, and that's what's going to allow us to retrieve the image of the card and its effect and display that in the Roll20 chat. And again, if you're not familiar with mods, all you need to do is come over here to the mod library, search for the mod in this drop-down list, you can then add it to your game, and you're ready to go. With the mod set up, we're now ready to begin building our rollable table that contains all of the cards and their effects. Now normally what we would do in Roll20 is come over here to the rollable table section, click add, and then we would copy and paste all the text from the blog post into the table. But that would be kind of tedious. So to help make life a little bit easier on that, what you want to do is come out to this GitHub page. There's a link down in the video description. And here I've already set up all the cards and their descriptions ready to use with the table export command. And despite the fact that this mod was called table export, it also allows you to import information. So what you want to do is click on raw right here and then control A to select everything and then control C to copy it and make sure you've got everything here okay once it's copied go into your roll 20 game go to the chat tab paste in all that text that you just copied and press enter go over to the rollable table section again and at the very bottom of the section you should see a new rollable table called taroka effects with 54 entries so let's open that up and you'll see here now that all of the cards and their effects are listed so if you don't have access to the actual Taroka deck, you can stop here as far as the table goes. But if you do have the Taroka deck, like I have right here, what we want to do next is we want to add the card images into this table. The best way I've found to do that is to find the complete Taroka deck in your Roll20 game, right here. And then what you want to do is go through each card, click on it, and then right click on the image and say save image as. And save it somewhere on your computer, give it a, a good name, so I'll, this is the swashbuckler image. Save that, and now what we can do is go into the table, find the swashbuckler entry, click on it, and then we can just drag that image right into the table, click save changes, and then that card has an image associated with it. And then you're just going to repeat that for each of the cards in the deck. And this part is a little bit on the tedious side, but I was able to do it in about five or six minutes, so it's not too bad overall. 
Once you're done, you should have a table that looks like this, where each card has an entry and an image associated with it. We can also uncheck the players can roll from table box, because honestly, we probably only want to do this as the DM. So let's go ahead, let's save our changes. So now our table is created. What we want to do next is build that script card. So here's my trusty Notepad++ window. And again, we want the card to look like this in chat. So the first thing we need to do is put in exclamation point script and then two open curly braces and then a couple of lines and two closing curly braces. This tells Roll20 that everything between these curly braces is part of a script card. All right, now the next thing we want to do is put in a title for our script card. You can see over there on the right that I have this as Taroka Effect. And so the way we're going to do that is with dash dash pound sign title pipe Taroka Effect. So this is telling script cards that this is the title of the card. I also want the background of the title bar here to be this blood red color rather than the default blue that script cards provides. So for that, we're going to use this line right here, which lets us put in the hexadecimal code for blood red. If you want this to be a different red, all you have to do is go out to Google and say hexadecimal value for ruby red or vermilion or whatever color it is that you want this to be. Now what we need to do is have script cards roll on our table to randomly choose one of the Taroka cards. That's going to be done with this line here. And what we're saying here is we are rolling on the Taroka effects table. So right here, this is the name of the table. And then the capital T hash mark tells script cards to roll on a table called Taroka effects. And then we enclose the whole thing in square brackets. So this expression right here is telling Roll20 to find a rollable table called Taroka effects and roll on it. And the results of that roll will get stored in this variable value right here called card. And now that we have our card, what we want to do is output both the image and the text for that card into the chat. And that can be done with two lines that look like this. So the dash dash plus and pipe character means that we are writing information out to the Roll20 chat. And the first thing that we're writing out is the card's table entry image URL property. That's the actual image associated with this card. And then table entry text is the text that goes along with the card. So now if we copy this whole thing and we go into our chat and we paste it in, we can see, there we go, we've got our card and we've got its text. So now what we can do is just copy this. Let's go into the collection section again. We can add a new macro and we'll just scoot this guy out of the way. We'll call this Taroka effect macro. Paste in our script card code, save the changes. I'm going to put that down in the bar there it is. And now we click it again and we get the priest. Click it again. We've got the diviner and we can click this anytime that we think Count Strahd would like to spice up an encounter in Barovia. So there you have it. That's how you can set up Taroka based random encounter effects in Roll20. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. And until next time, folks, have a great day.